Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And we are going to make a card today. How's everyone doing today? Can you come on, say hi, let me know where you're from? So I'm actually going to make another Christmas card. Well, it's only my second one. Because um, I have quite a few I have to get done. And I figured, well, I guess I should start. Since everybody's doing Christmas in July. Hi, Angela. Thanks for joining. So I decided I'm going to do just... Well, it's Christmas. It's a winter one. This Using the Snow Crystal and the Joyful Flurry. Right. Before I get started, I just wanted to let everybody know um, about the tax-free holiday th through Stampin' Up. Um, Florida is this week. Florida and I think it's Tennessee and Mississippi are um, started this week started or are starting to this week um there's it's mostly things that are school supplies stamp and seal markers pen i don't think are there the blends blending pens blender pens i'm sorry um stamp and write markers um the combo pack stampin up blends so it's a bunch of different things and they're tax free so if it's stuff that you need and you're in one of the lucky states that gets the tax free. Hi, Akiko. Thanks for joining. Um, might as well take advantage of it. We all, also don't forget right now we have, um, I can't find my catalog, of course. Celebration is going on and I actually, I am using the read it silver and gold six by six specialty paper this is still available um, from stampin up or from for celebration the only thing so far that has sold out are the pool party and soft seafoam cards and envelopes so those are not available everything else is so, still available while supplies last there's you know fifty dollar items like the hippo Hippo set and the dies are with a $50 purchase. Um, the Rings of Love DSP is with a $50 purchase. The Stylish Sketches and the Silver and Gold Paper, that's all with $50. And then the Amazing Phrases, um, the Tree Lot dies, and the Wonderful World Bundle, those are all with a $100 purchase. And then there is with a either a three hundred dollar purchase or if you host a party and you have three hundred dollars in sales, you can get this perfect pomegranate set for free. <clears throat> so that's all with the celebration. And I think that's all I have for right now. And oh, the joining special. Before I forget that, for it's hi Barbara. Thanks for joining. Um, for $99, you get to pick $125 in product of your choice. Stampin' Up! ships it for free, and they will also send you this planner. It comes with notebooks. There's lots of, there's like double the amount of pages of what I have in here. I only have a bare minimum in here. There's, um... I have a box filled so I can refill them once I, you know, if I use them. But it's got the um, the fake le leather cover with a magnetic closure. It's a really nice planner. They will send you, automatically send you this for free. So, all right, we're going to get started. All right, we have a real simple fold today. I have a Z-fold co card. I have a panel, uh, panel of... Thick basic white, right white, which is eight and a half by five and a half. 
I already scored it at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. So I'm just gonna give that a good fold. Figured after last week's with all the little cuts and all, figured this week I make a real simple one. All right. Then I have, I have all this ready to go here. Um, I I use the I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, it's the silk. Well, it's the silver and gold paper, but I use the silver, and I wanted it to kind of look like snowflakes. And a panel of um, Pacific Point cardstock. We're just going to adhere this. I only did, well, I did two things ahead of time, which I'll show you in a minute. We're just going to put this, the Pacific Point is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then the silver and gold is four by five and a quarter. All the measurements will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampdesigns.com. The measurements with a link to the video and um, the directions. And this one's a little easier for me to write up. Sometimes these, I love doing the fun folds, but then I'm just sitting there when I'm trying to type it up, trying to figure out how to explain. So I, sometimes it's easier to just watch, follow, follow along. All right. And I'm just using the liquid glue so I have a little wiggle room. I mix it up with which um, adhesive I use between the stamp and seal and the liquid glue. When I'm live, I tend to use liquid glue more often because I have a little bit of wiggle room. All right, we're gonna do the inside. Actually, yeah, we'll do the inside piece. So I have the white is just a panel of, uh, it's basic white, it's um, one and seven eighths by Five and a quarter yeah one and seven eighths by five and a quarter and I am gonna stamp oh, sorry the joyful wishes on the inside in Pacific Point hey Amy thanks for joining and we're gonna try really hard to get this straight That looks pretty good. Get this out of the way before I. The specific point ink, tend when I use it, I tend to get it all over myself. All right, and I have. I'm just using. This is from the, um, Joyful Flurry, and I just wanted it to look similar to. Uh, the paper on the inside. So I'm actually going to stamp it off once and just randomly stamp the paper. And this is okay. I mean, I'm going to go all the way down with it, which is fine because you can write over this no problem, especially since it's very light. And I have a piece of scrap paper. I don't know if you could see it. It's in the camera up oh. um, on the side. And I'm actually just covering the whole thing. All right. And we are going to need that one again for the envelope. Whoops. Oh, right off my paper here. We're just going to adhere this to the Pacific Point. And 
And this is why I use liquid glue. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put this panel right on the inside. As I said, it's a nice, easy card. Well, to an extent. And because, especially because of the blue, I'm flipping it over. I don't want to get blue. The blue tends to take a while to dry. All right. Get that out of the way. Now we've got our big, giant snow crystal stamp. All right. I am going to, I'm going to show you how I do this. Where's my ink? I'm going to ink it up with Versamark. And I do have a piece of paper that's too big because I wanted to make sure it gets covered. I think I have enough ink is on it. When I have a large stamp like this, I tend to flip it over like this to ink it up to make sure I get good coverage. All right, and I have a piece of basic white. That is five and a half by five and a half. I like I said, I just wanted to make sure it's covered. Oh, I gotta I'm gonna tear my paper here. I'm just gonna put this over it and I'm gonna give it a good rub all over. I found I get better coverage like this this doing this with the Versamark than I do um, with the Stamparatus sometimes with these big stamps. Okay, and then I'm just making sure I get all the points. And then you're just going to lift it right up. Let's get this stamp out of the way. And oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Whew. I have my silver embossing powder, and I'm just throwing it all on it right now. I have a container. I haven't put it in this yet. I want to just make sure it's covering. So you can see where it doesn't cover, so then I can pour a little more in that spot. And I did get, obviously, I got ink around the edges but that's okay I have we have the uh, little brush this is a huge stamp to do this with and then we have the new little brush that comes with the embossing and it will just just brush it right off. And I think this is still one of my favorite techniques. Just want to get most of it off. Cover this up so I don't make a mess. Oops. Hang on a minute. I got it all over my... And that's going to make a mess. Sorry. I'm just going to... Try to get all this off. Because once I start heat embossing, this will all, I'll be embossing my workspace. Okay. Now we're going to close this up. And get that out of the way. All right. So 
So I'm going to use the heat tool. The Stampin' Up! heat tool has two settings. One is for drying, which I did use. I stamped the sentiment already, and I used that to dry, and I'll show you in a minute why. And the second one is for heat embossing. I'm just going to let it heat up on the side. You just want to keep it moving a little bit. You don't want to stay in one spot because it can um, it can burn your paper. And I have done that. And I think I knocked off a little too much of the embossing powder. If you can see it, it's starting to turn. It goes from the powder to a solid. And like I said, this is a big piece, so it takes a little longer. I think I got it. I think I got it all. You can see. It's really pretty. All right. We're putting that on the side because I'm not fussy cutting live so I have it already fussy cut I was not I want I because that obviously big piece is not going to fit on my card front and I was not fussy cutting it live so here is the finished project <laughs> hey Jillian thanks for joining all right and we oh, embossing powder everywhere oh my goodness and what did I do with them all right, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> this is going to go on the front. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it like this. And I do this so I can, I know where to put um, the dimensionals. So I know I have room. I want to make sure I get them just on the one half. one actually I might put one one here and I'm gonna put one more I'm going to put it right here because I know that's there's gonna be um that's the middle all right and then this just like that and my embellish are my um, dimensionals are behind there so nothing's gonna stick so we're good all right then I stamped the sentiment on a piece of vellum and this is why I did it ahead of time this I did this over an hour ago and it's finally dried and then I use the dye this is from from the frosted flurry dyes there's a large one and a small one I use the large one and I already cut that out but I had this sitting under a fan plus I used the heat tool and I wanted to make sure it was dry because it smudges so I'm going to adhere this with a couple glue dots and then, 
because you could see through the vellum, I am going to just put a couple rhinestones where the glue dots are. Usually I will, um, when I adhere, when I use vellum, I usually have something that's going to go on top of it. Just pull that up. All right, and I'm just going to put it right on top of the snowflake. And I'm going to rub it this way, just in case it is still wet. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a couple, a couple rhinestones on it. And I'm going to put it right where the glue dots are, so you really won't see them. one of the large ones. I'm just going to put it right there. So there you have it. It's a simple Z fold card. So this is, you do whatever writing there. I mean, you can write here too, but I just wanted to leave that plain. All right, we're going to do the envelope. We'll be done. I have a pan, another panel of the silver and gold. And if you are leaving comments, I will go back I've been looking down the whole time, sorry. Oh my goodness. Every time I touch this, there's the embossing powder all over. <laughs> Just give this a quick trim, and then I'm going to stamp some snowflakes on the front, and we'll be done. I'm going to do them the same way. I'm going to, you know, there's so much on here, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, I'm just going to stamp them along the bottom. And I have this small one. And there you have it. A nice simple Z fold card. It's ready for Christmas. So I got two cards done. I'm very excited. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, if don't forget about the celebration and the tax free if you're in one of those lucky states. Um, I will plan on being back next Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Um, again, all the measurements, everything will be on my blog on Friday, creativestampeddesigns.com. And if you have any questions, if you are interested in joining, I'd love to have you on the team. Reach out to me at creativestampeddesigns at gmail.com and we could talk about it. All right. Thanks everybody for joining and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.